Here's an explanation on problem 22 from section 3.2, working with polynomial functions. A student had a question regarding some of the details, so I want to just uh, clear a couple of questions up. You're first asked to graph this function. So if you go to your calculator, type your function under y equals. I have it typed there under y1. Go to the window. And the values that you see here for t, that's what we want to make our x min and x max. So we have it go from 2 to 34. Um, and then the y values we can adjust, but let's just get a picture of the graph. Actually, you know what a good thing to do is go to zoom, zoom zero, <clears throat> zoom fit, and it'll usually give you a decent picture of it. And then you can go and adjust your window. And hey, my window was already adjusted. Great. There's our graph. So we can see that this guy right here would be our answer to the graph. So there's the first part. Second part. On this part where it asks to estimate the age of the tree, do not answer him first. Wait until you do this part, part C, and whatever answer you get as the X value in part C, go back and just put an integer value there, the integer part. So part C, I came up with 15.33, so I would go back up and, and make that 15. This is an awkward question, and I don't like the way they ask you to estimate this because I estimated at 16, and it said I was wrong. So how about we just use the estimating part as the actual value we get here. So how do we get this value? Well, it says we need to find the vertex of this parabola. So we're going to go to our calculator, go to y equals, and I already have that parabola typed into my calculator. And to graph it, I'm going to go to zoom zero, which is zoom fit. So go to zoom and you can either arrow down to the zero spot or you can just type in zero. And I need to estimate the vertex of that parabola. I'm going to go ahead and do it on my calculator. So let's use second calc and let's choose the max feature. So it's asking me for a left bound. So I need to move the cursor to the left side of the vertex. It asks me for a right bound, so I'm going to move the cursor to the right side of the vertex. And when it says guess, I'm going to press enter. So there is my vertex, 15.33, 2.573. And we want to round our answers to two decimal places here. So I typed in 15.33, comma, just the 2.57 at two decimal places. Type that in, and then the third part here, part D, is always going to be approximately equal to. I hope this is helpful. Um, I hope this will help you get through this particular problem.